Hey Mammoth fans, it's Andy Lindahl. I'm your new voice of the Colorado Mammoth and I'm excited to get back in the Loud House, excited to take you guys on this journey of what will be the 2021-2022 Colorado Mammoth season. When you're a broadcaster, to get to do the play-by-play -play position, that is what it's all about and to do it with the sport that I love, my first love is lacrosse. It's just great to be able to be back with the Colorado Mammoth and get everybody excited about what should be a very fun team for the coming season. Cross has been my sport for 30 years. The Mammoth mean a lot to me because a kid from North Denver never thought lacrosse of this level would ever show up in Colorado because we were, we were largely ignored uh, when I was playing the game in high school. And I grew up in a neighborhood that not a lot of hockey players, not a lot of lacrosse players. So when I went to high school, uh, I had had a buddy that always told me how cool lacrosse was and how he wanted to try it. So my high school had it, and so I decided I'd give it a try. I was able to make All-State 92, which was a lot of fun, and uh, it's just been a big part of my life ever since. I played in the men's leagues. We're across the street from Metro right now. We tried to get a lacrosse team together there. Got to play in two Rocky Mountain Lacrosse League games against the School of Mines and the Air Force Academy and we won them both and we won them pretty handily. I basically had the same group of teammates since I was 19 years old. Still go out there, play up at Vail. A few times I played in the Vail shootout two years in my mid-20s before I got into radio. I got to play against the Gate Brothers and Tom Marichek and the Syracuse All-Stars. That was super cool. The scoreboard wasn't super cool, but it was a cool experience to say you got to play against Hall of Famers from this league that then a decade later would show up and start the Colorado Mammoth. I think it all started with the Mammoth coming here, that got the Outdoor League that wanted to get the MLL when it was in existence, the Outlaws. I think it showcased that Denver was a great sports market. The number of kids that now played here, the number of kids that have put down, say, a hockey stick and picked up a lacrosse stick, you need the NLL so young players have something to aspire to. I think it's very important for the game. And now, being back over at altitude, I quietly hoped that something would come along, would work out where I could work with the Mammoth again. I got the afternoon show over there with Nate Kreck when we're on every day, two to six. So make sure you check us out. I do do a Bronco post game show, but uh, I'm really looking forward to Jamie Shuchuk joining me upstairs in the booth. That's going to be a lot of fun. I, I covered Jamie as a player. Jamie was gritty, that's for sure. And we're looking forward to his great perspective. I know that he's grown a lot being able to do this over the last few years. And John Gallant, I mean, what can you say? One of the great names, one of the great defensemen, if not the greatest defenseman in Mammoth history. So he's always going to bring great perspective. I think Jamie will be the fiery one, and John will be the ice in his blood. Very cool, very even-tempered, because that's how they were a player, as players. And you know what? John's always brought great insight, and that's not easy. So it ought to be a fun broadcast.